My name is Jennifer McNear. I'm a pediatric hematologist and oncologist and an assistant professor of pediatrics at Comer Children's Hospital. There are a wide variety of blood disorders in children. Uh, some of the more common ones include anemia, platelet problems, bleeding disorders, hemophilia, thalassemia, and sickle cell disease. Some blood disorders are genetic uh, and are inherited from parents to children. Examples of those would be sickle cell disease, thalassemia, hemophilia. Other disorders are acquired and we don't know what causes them in some children. We diagnose blood disorders in a number of different ways. We usually start by getting a basic blood count. Uh, that blood will be examined under the microscope. If need be, we can uh, do other more specific genetic testing in order to determine exactly what type of blood disorder a patient has. Some patients who seem to have problems with the production of their blood cells in their bone marrow need to undergo bone marrow aspirate and biopsy in order to determine their diagnosis. Some of the genetic conditions are chronic. Uh, however, with close follow-up with the hematologist, those children often live very normal and healthy lives. Other disorders are more acute, and un after undergoing proper therapy, the children are cured and uh, oftentimes have no relapses of their disorder. Some of the treatments for the blood disorders can cause long-term effects. Uh, for example, patients who require frequent and long-term blood transfusions can have iron overload. This can affect their heart function and their liver function. However, we have treatments for that, and with close follow-up, hematologists can manage this very well, and the children can remain relatively unaffected from it. At Comer Children's Hospital, we have uh, genetic counselors and uh, geneticists who can help determine what a family's risk is of having other children with a similar blood disorder. Tests can be done on children when they're very young to determine whether or not they are affected. Children treated by the University of Chicago Pediatrics Team for Blood Disorders will be cared for by a team of physicians, nurses and nurse practitioners, as well as social workers and genetic counselors in order to give them the best quality of life while they're undergoing treatment. I really enjoy educating families and the children about hematologic problems. Um, I enjoy uh, watching children uh, do well after their treatment and go on to live happy, healthy, and normal lives.